You are about to practice 15 minutes beginner's yoga flow. Welcome to Fight Master Yoga. I'm Leslie Fight Master, and in today's class, we are starting to learn sun salutations. So we'll learn a little bit of flow. Remember, if it becomes too difficult at any time, come onto your knees and take a break. When you're practicing downward facing dog, get into the habit of spreading the fingers nice and wide, pressing on to the base of your fingers and lifting up through your forearms. That way you won't have too much pressure on your wrists. So today, our winner of the free jade yoga mat is, I don't know, because our family is at an amusement park today celebrating Stone's 12th birthday. But I will tomorrow announce two winners. And if you just can't wait, go to my Instagram at Fight Master Yoga and check out the story and you can find out there. Now, if you wanna win a free Jade Yoga mat, they're awesome. We're giving one away every day. Go to fightmasteryoga.com forward slash free mat and you can enter. But you have to subscribe to Fight Master Yoga and don't forget to hit the like button because it's Stone's birthday. Begin sitting nice and tall, again, shins crossed. If that's not a comfortable position for you, any seated position will be fine. Just be sure to sit up nice and tall, lengthening your spine, opening your chest. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. May our practice help to bring you into the present moment help you to focus in on your breath and help you to feel great in your body. And now start to make your way onto your back, knees bent, draw your right knee into your chest and circle your right ankle in one direction. You can keep the left knee bent and then begin to circle it in the other direction. Now inhale, extend the right leg up toward the ceiling and just hold that leg anywhere. So you can hold the upper leg, you could hold further down by the foot and you can keep the left leg bent or straighten it out, your choice. Flex the right ankle to engage those muscles in the leg. Now if your leg is not straight, it doesn't matter as long as you feel a stretch. So release that, both knees bent, and then hug your left knee into your chest, circle your left ankle in one direction. And then reverse it. And then we'll inhale, extend the left leg up toward the ceiling. We're stretching out our hamstring muscles. So hold on anywhere along the leg. And if the knee can't straighten all the way, it's fine. You can keep the right knee bent or extend it out. And my leg goes pretty much straight up and down and yours might not. And that is okay too. As long as you feel a stretch, it doesn't matter what the pose looks like. Let's release that leg. And now take your hands and make fists and circle them in one direction. And then begin to circle them in the other direction. Your feet just resting on the floor with knees bent. And then releasing that. And roll off onto your right side and carefully press up using your left hand. Head comes up last. We'll cross with the shins to make our way onto the hands and knees. Lining up wrists under shoulders and knees under hips. And now take your hips back to your heels in child's pose. If you can, keep your arms extended in front of you. And if you cannot, then keep the elbows bent. Remember, any knee issues, you don't have to take your hips all the way to the heels. Now as you inhale, come on up onto your hands and knees. And then shift your hips forward. You're going to hug the elbows into your sides as you lower to your belly. Bring your hands by your low ribs, press all 10 toenails down into the floor, elbows up. Inhale, peel the chest up, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, release down. Once again, inhale, peel the chest up, widen the collarbones, lengthen your sitting bones to heels. Exhale, lower. 
Now tuck your toes under, keeping the knees down onto the floor. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, try to press all the way up onto the knees in one piece. And then take the hips back to the heels as far as they will go comfortably. Keep the arms extended in front if possible, or bend the elbows. But do spread your fingers wide and start pressing into the base of your fingers. Walk your hands a little in front of the shoulders. Turn the inner elbows forward. Tuck your toes under. Begin to lift, keeping your knees bent. Stretch your back, lifting your sitting bones up. And now straighten the right leg and keep the left knee bent. Bend both knees and then straighten the left leg. And then just bending one knee and then the other. And begin to stretch both legs out as much as they will. They might not straighten all the way. That's okay. Make sure your feet are hips width apart. Walk your feet forward to the hands. And then bring hands on shins or above the knees and stretch out your back. Inhale, pull your belly in. And then exhale, fold, bending the knees as needed. Press through the feet, firmly to rise up. Sweep the arms out, around and up. Remember to keep the ribs drawing in. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Come to the top of the mat, take Big toes together, heels slightly apart or feet hips width, making sure outer edges of feet are parallel. Firm your legs, draw your belly in and lengthen your sitting bones toward the heels. Inhale, sweep your arms out around and up. Not arching like that, but keep the ribs in. You can't keep your arms in front of you or you can keep your arms wide if you've got tight shoulders like most of us do. Exhale, hinge from your hip creases and take a forward fold, bending the knees as needed. You can't straighten them. If they do straighten, that's fine too. Inhale, come halfway up and lengthen the spine. And exhale, fold again. Press firmly through the feet, come halfway up and then sweep the arms out, around and up. Stretch up through the arms, ribs and belly in. And exhale, bring the hands down to the heart. Standing up nice and tall. Inhale, sweep your arms up. As you exhale, hinge from your hip creases and fold forward over the legs. Keep the spine long. I'm not trying to round the back to get further. We don't want that. Inhale, look up, lengthen. As you exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms. Step your right foot way back. Step your left foot way back, plank pose. Take the knees to the floor, shift your shoulders about an inch forward, hug your elbows in and try to lower everything down at once. Slide your hands by the low ribs, press all 10 toenails down, peel the chest up, inhale, pull the belly in. Exhale, release down. Tuck your toes under, use your belly muscles to press back up onto the knees and then lift the knees back to downward facing dog. Still bicycling the legs if you'd like, especially if your hamstrings are tight. But I'd rather see you stretch your back out and keep your knees bent than try to straighten the legs and not get the length in the spine. The spine needs the length because we can press it all day and now it's like being in traction. It's good for it. So walk the feet forward to the hands. Inhale to look up, lengthen. Exhale to fold. Firm down through the feet and rise up. Inhale, keep those ribs in. Lengthen tailbone to heels. Exhale, hands to heart. Back to Tadasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up. As you exhale, hinge from your hip creases and fold. On your inhale, lengthen your spine and look up. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms. Step the left foot way back. And then step the right foot way back, plank top of a push-up. Knees down, shift the shoulders forward, slowly lower to your belly. Hands by low ribs, pull your belly in. Inhale, peel the chest up, lengthen sitting bones to backs of knees. Tuck the toes, press up to the knees without arching the back if possible. And then stretch back again into down dog. Make sure your fingers are spread and you're pressing into the base of your fingers and lifting your forearms up and away. Otherwise, there'll be too much pressure in the wrists and your wrists won't enjoy that. Draw the belly in from the outer hips in. And then looking forward, come on to your knees. Shift your hips off to one side and swing your legs around to the front of the mat 
and use your hands to slowly come onto your back, hugging knees to chest. Giving the knees a hug, maybe rock gently side to side a moment, and then release them. So we come into our final resting pose. So let your legs extend and your feet flop open. Bring your arms a little away from the sides of your body with your palms facing up and now close your eyes and just breathe normally. Let your body be heavy. Our quote today is from Melody Beattie. Gratitude makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. Begin to take longer breaths and stretch out through your arms and your legs. Bend your knees, roll yourself over to your right. Thank yourself for taking your practice, taking care of yourself. Using the left hand, come on up, head comes up last. Comfortable seat, bring your hands in front of your heart, palms touch. Hands to the forehead, reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts hands to heart center to remind us to have clear and loving intentions and the hands to the mouth reminding us to have clear and loving communication sending positive energy out peace and love to all beings everywhere namaste the light in me recognizes and honors the light in you great job today so if you're still here at the end our secret word for today is unity. So if you're at the end and you hear the word unity, put it in the comments below and I'll know you watched the whole thing. See you tomorrow. <laughs>